You're on. All right. We're going to do a simple lock flow. The first, and we can enter in a whole bunch of ways. I don't want to get into that right now. First one, controlling the thumb, we're going to do palm down wrist lock. From here, if I lose it, I'm going to go to a cradle arm bar. If I lose that, I'm going into an upward arm bar. From the upward arm bar, I can go into a downward arm bar. From the downward arm bar, I can go to a figure four. From the figure four, I can go into a palm up wrist lock. You know what, let's, let's keep going from here. From the palm up wrist lock, I can grab the bicep, go to a come along hold. From the come along hold, I can grab two fingers, bring it down, almost like a variation of, of the upward arm bar. From here, turn it down. Grab, re-grab here, bringing the finger out and in, sometimes called a split V. From here, these two fingers, fingers closest to his thumb, I'm going to release. With my other hand, I'm going to turn his palm so it's facing me, and I'm going to face, it, face his arm here. If I want to go a little bit further, I can turn again, come here. So let's take it from the top one more time. Palm down wrist lock. Cradle arm bar. Upward arm bar. Downward arm bar. Figure four. Palm up wrist lock. Come along, sometimes called gooseneck. Two finger lock. Split V, sometimes called holding the rifle, and then we go to a chicken wing. From the chicken wing, we grab on the shoulder, we reach around, grab his shoulder, grab, no, I'm sorry, grab his chin, grab his hair, from there. Thank you, Jeff.